What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and this is part three of our series of partial pressure blending. And in this video, what we're gonna talk about is how we can take a particular blend, say we've got some air left over or even nitrox left over from a previous dive and how we can mix that with a new blend to get whatever desired level of nitrox we want. Now the reason we wanna do this is when it comes to partial pressure blending, as we learned in the second video, a lot of times we start from an empty cylinder. Basically we put pure O2 in an empty cylinder to a certain bar or certain pressure, and then we mix standard breathing gas or 21% air in it, and it mixes up and it makes whatever blend. And that's a very simple process to do. However, we're actually wasting what gas is remaining in our cylinder by simply bleeding it off and we don't really have to waste that uh, air or whatever mixtures left in that cylinder we can do a calculation to use what's there we can determine how much we need to mix to it to actually get a desired blend now to do this we're gonna have to look at a little chart here and if you want to write this down on a piece of paper it might make it a little bit easier uh, for you to grasp onto it as well and basically all it is just through tic-tac-toe so if you can draw a hashtag or a tic-tac-toe board that's basically all I did there you don't necessarily have to put the borders on it like I do, but for me, it makes the math a little bit simpler. But we need to understand what is in each little section of the chart here, and then we're actually going to do some calculations. And I'm going to do this both in imperial and in metric for you, so whether you like the imperial or the metric system, you're actually going to see both of them. So on this first column here, we're going to call that the desired gas column. The middle column, we're going to call it the current gas column. And then over here on the end, we're going to call that required. So the desired, that's going to be the ending or starting pressure field. That's how much I need or how much I want to make another dive. The middle one, the current gas, is basically how much I have left over after a given dive. And then the required gas is how much I need to add to it to give me my desired. In each little section here, this top one, let's look at the first row first. We're gonna call this the desired gas uh, column. So the desired uh, top section is gonna be desired fraction of oxygen. I'm gonna multiply that by my desired pressure, and that's gonna give me the desired PPO2 that I want. If I look at the current gas, it's gonna be the starting FO2 or the fraction of oxygen. Let's say I had a 32% cylinder and I breathe it down to whatever. And then of course, starting pressure, how much I'm starting with before the blending process. I'll multiply those two together. That's gonna to give my, my starting uh, partial pressure of O2 as well. And then if I look at the required gas column, it's gonna be the required gas of O2 is what I'm gonna end with. But you'll notice this one's kind of flipped. So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. It's the required partial pressure of O2 that I need to get to my desired level. The required pressure that I gotta add into the cylinder to get to my required level, if you will. And then of course the required O2 for that particular blend. So and we, to go this way, I'm actually gonna take the required PPO2 divide it by the required pressure, and then get my required O2. Now there's some other arithmetic here as well. You'll notice I have these two subtraction marks here, and that's because to get these two numbers, I'm gonna have to uh, subtract it out to get it. And you'll see when we fill in the block what I mean by that. Once again, we're gonna do this both in imperial and in metric. And if you wanna follow along, get you a piece of paper and a pencil, and also get you a calculator as well, and it'll make doing the math a lot easier. Now, one thing that I will say, on a calculator, if we get a particular number that can be rounded up, we're gonna round up just to make it easier on us. And we're only gonna be using uh, basically one or two decimal points over. So if I say 40%, instead of saying 0 0.40, I'd just say 0.4. If I had a, say a 0.139, I'm gonna round that up to a 0.14. So just, just so that you can follow along with me. But let's, let's start filling in a block here with a particular blend that we currently have and we'll see how we can convert it or up it or even lower it to a, a blend that we want. So let's say that my starting FO2, I've got a cylinder that has 32% in it. And I just finished that dive and I still got 972 PSI in the cylinder. Okay? So... At this point, I can go ahead and do some of the math out here. I can take 32%, 0.32, I'm going to times it by 972 or 972 PSI, and that's going to come up to 311 and 04. I'm just going to say 311 PSI. So out of that cylinder of 32% um, nitrox, 
that has 972 PSI, 311 PSI of it is the 32% partial pressure of O2. So that's pretty easy to understand. Well, let's say that I want to boost that cylinder to 36%. So I'm just going to go to my desired FO2 and write in 36%. Real simple, right? And I know that that cylinder is going to hold 3,000 PSI, which is what I want to, or that's my desired pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and write 3,000 PSI here. Now, there's some more math that I can do. Desired FO2 times desired pressure is going to give me the desired O2 that I need. So I just simply take 0.36. So 0.36, all right? I'm going to times that by 3,000. That's going to give me 1,080 PSI. Right. Now, from here, to get over to the required gas, that simply puts how much O2 or how much gas I got to put into the cylinder. I can simply do the subtraction of these two rows here. So I'm going to take my desired PPO2 minus my starting, and that's going to tell me how much pressure I got to add to the cylinder. So I'm going to take 1080. I'm going to minus the 311 from it. And you can see that it comes up to 769 PSI. All right, now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with row number two. I'm gonna take 3,000. I'm gonna minus 972 PSI from it. It tells me 2028. Now the last thing I need to know is the required O2 to put into that mix. And to do that, I simply take 769, following the arithmetic here, I take 769. I divide that out by the 2028, so 2028, and that's going to come up to 0.379. We're going to simply call that 0.38 or 38%. So in short, if I had a 32% blend and I wanted to make it a 36% blend, I'm going to have to add 38% nitrox to my cylinder. Or more importantly, if I had 972 PSI, and I wanted to add 3,000, or I wanted to make it 3,000 PSI, obviously I gotta add 2,028 PSI to it. And then if we look at the mixture of oxygen or partial pressure, let's say that in a cylinder that had 32% at 972 PSI, that means 311 uh, PSI of it is the O2. I would have to add 1,080 PSI to it, all right? to get the desired 769 PSI needed for that blend to get it to my 36%. So guys, figuring this out is very easy. Once again, we do this to conserve the air that we still have or the blend that we still have. We don't have to take the time to drain a cylinder all the way down to start the partial pressure blending process. We can simply work out the math and we can do it very easily without wasting any gas in our cylinder. Now I did promise you that we're going to do it in the metric system as well. So let me simply erase some of the numbers here. And all that we're going to do is simply change it out from PSI to bar. So I'm going to leave those top numbers there because I'm going to actually start with 32% and I want to get my desired mix at the 36%. So obviously we know that 38, and I'm going to actually erase that too, just to show you the math behind it. We need to know how much uh, partial pressure to put in there as well. So let's say I start with a cylinder that's 32% nitrox and it currently has 67 bar in it. And I want to, to end, after the partial pressure uh, blending process, I want to end with a 36% blend. And of course I want 200 bar in my cylinder. So I can do the exact same math that I did before uh, simply by using a calculator here. Um, all you're gonna do is take 0 0.36, 0 0.36, you're gonna times it by 200. It's gonna give you 72 bar. You're going to take 0.32, you're going to times it by 67, that gives you 21.44. Now we need to do our subtraction, we're going to take 72, we're going to minus the 21.44, that's going to come up to 50.6, we're just going to simply, or 50.56, we're going to round that up to 50.6. We do the same thing here, we're going to take 200, we're going to minus 67 from it. We're going to get 133. And then we can do our division to see 
what the blend is or what the blend needs to be to make that particular desired. So we take 50.6 divided out by 133 and it tells me there's my 38% as well. Exact same number we came up in with the Imperial system. So guys, it's a very simple process. If you'll draw out your hashtag or your tic-tac-toe board and understand that the first level or the first column is desired gas, the middle one's current gas, and then of course the last one is required gas, and understand what each block is, being able to take nitrox of whatever blend at whatever pressure and change it to whatever blend and whatever pressure you need becomes very simple. And once again, we use this guys so that we don't have to drain a cylinder first to start the partial pressure blending process. Guys, if you've got any questions on this, please put it down in the comment section below. I really truly appreciate you watching this series as well. Um, if you want to see more technical related videos like this, drop me a comment down below on a particular video that you would like for me to make for you as well. But guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. And if you've not watched the previous videos in the series, check out in the description below. I'll have those linked down there as well. Just simply click on that and you can watch through the entire series of partial pressure blending. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed these videos. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest subscribe to us here on YouTube and as always guys we appreciate your business guys we really appreciate you watching our videos if you liked it make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you're not a subscriber simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications if you want to see some other cool videos make sure to click these links here they could be scuba tips they could be diving videos search and recover videos or gear reviews once again guys we really appreciate it